Uh, new this morning, we have learned there have been 90 confirmed aftershocks from that magnitude 6.4 earthquake that rattled Humboldt County yesterday. Andrew Hobner is live in Fernbridge this morning with a look at the damage that has been left behind there. Andrew. Yeah, John, we actually felt uh, an aftershock in, uh, in our hotel last <laughs> night. Kind of just shook the bed very lightly for a few seconds, and then it just kind of went away. And that's sort of been what most of the aftershocks have been. We're actually here on Fern Bridge. That community all the way out there, that is Ferndale. The community that we've been talking about that has been a little bit isolated because of the closure of this bridge. There's only one way in or out. It's out through Rio Del so far. We talked to a couple residents, though, of Ferndale that work for Caltrans, have been traversing the bridge all morning and they basically said Ferndale surprisingly not a lot of damage it's just sort of isolated out and when we walk up the bridge you'll see why I want to stress to everyone including my mother who may be watching this at some point today this bridge is safe to be on Caltrans has had trucks down up and down it all morning the USGS aftershock forecast also says that there is not projected to be any earthquakes of significant magnitude 5.0 or more it's a one in 200 chance and that uh, number increases pretty exponentially, so we feel okay walking up here. So we're going to show you a little bit of the damage. These cracks, this is one of the foundational portions of the bridge, and you can see just how significant this cracking is all the way across. Now, this stuff has been paved over. This is all brand new pavement from Caltrans that they put in last night. Crews are going to come out through the morning. There's a crew from Sacramento on the way and a local crew working right now, but you can see just how deep these cracks in the foundation go and you see pretty easily the reason and rationale for why they wanted to shut this bridge down to main traffic in the first place. It's not just that main crack. There's a couple other different spots we want to show you too. The railings in particular shot at like 90 degree angles here. I mean, nothing natural aside from an earthquake is doing this kind of thing. You can see these this rubble, these cracks. This is where we start to get over into the river portion here. And this is basically, as we mentioned, the one way into Ferndale. The other way is through Rio Del. Rio Del got hit really hard. Significant structural damage, multiple buildings red tagged, no power, no water, significant outages still in the area. Them and Fortuna under a boil water notice as well. The last portion we want to show you, just to give you an idea of the structural damage of this bridge, right here. And you can see just the base sides that got pulled out, some of the bars that got, excuse me, jostled around by the quake itself. And this is something that these Caltrans teams are going to be working on throughout the day to try and get it back open. But this is just kind of the extent of some of what we've seen here on Fernbridge in particular. The good news is a lot of the power has been restored in Eureka, and the power is coming back on in some parts of Fortuna as well. This is a community that is used to it. They call it an earthquake country uh, in this area, so they feel like they're going to make it through and make it fine just as they have in past quakes but certainly a sobering thought up here over the last uh, day or two, just seeing the damage that's been caused and some of the closures that have happened as a result of what people up here derm a pretty, uh, deem excuse me, a pretty violent earthquake yeah. that hit early Tuesday morning. I mean, pretty clear illustration of that there, too, on that bridge. That was good stuff, Andrew. Thank you.